What's up guys, George Gio Garcia coming at you with another review, this time of KJ's Reverb. Again, this 400 plastic just feels absolutely amazing. It's gummy, but not too, too, too gummy. It's not overly gummy, but it definitely feels amazing. And seeing them throwing it, you know, you know this thing is good. The profile looks very beefy and uh, watching KJ throw it, you know, it is overstable. It's 13503 and a half for those of you that want to know this flight numbers. Without further ado, let's get to these test flights. Throwing this on Heiser first. Yeah, that thing, same thing. That one wants to get to the ground a little faster, but it's out there. Flat release. Woo, that thing is beefy. Look at it. Bang. Just started out a little bit more right. All right, that right to left is vicious, as you saw in the Falcor video. Uh, this reverb is a little more stable, so it should pan out in time and not cut roll on me. But here we go. Annie. There it is, pan out. Yep. Not very far, but it'll work. This reverb is money. Uh, it made it in the bag right away. I definitely have a slot for it. Uh, D2 Pro and this are gonna fight it out, but so far, uh, I like the way this one feels in my hand better. But we shall see what holds up better on the course. KJ, amazing disc, man. I can't wait to get that distortion in my hands, see what that does um, in this plastic, because these feel amazing. So you guys, again, Prodigy Disc, hit it out of the park with this and this collab with KJ. And uh, what else can I say? But, you know, look at the test flights, you know, these things, it holds up, very overstable. Pretty much any angle you put it on, it's gonna hold it. I like it. So be sure to pick you up some, uh, either on KJ's site or on prodigydisc.com or your favorite retailer uh, should have them as well. And again, until next time guys, be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and keep hitting your lines.